This is a quick and incredible demonstration of the power of EMC Extreme I.O. What we're going to demonstrate here is an incredibly scaled up uh, workload using Citrix uh, in MCS mode on top of vSphere. What we have is we've got uh, roughly uh, a total of 2,500 virtual machines and templates. Logging into Citrix Studio, you can see that in our machine catalog, this is a Windows uh, desktop machine and there's 2,500 of them. Um, they're all running on MCS. You can see that uh, there's a very large number of virtual machines. Now, normally, when you boot and create an actual load on something like this, the load is enormous. And even the best hybrid arrays in the market, like EMC VNX, can struggle to support um, uh, users of that load. Now, we're going to use Login VSI, which is a great tool that can be used to generate a large number of very real world load and it's very difficult to generate an artificial workload uh, for VDI because of course the VDI users not only boot and and do the normal sort of things but of course they interact with the desktops in all sorts of interesting ways opening up documents and changing things and editing all sorts of stuff now what we're going to do is we're going to start a test wizard so uh, this is a 2500 VMs MCS test uh, it's a medium profile uh, but it is a very uh, realistic user profile. And um, now this test is running on a single uh, EMC Extreme IO X-Brick. Um, and, uh, and it's going through all of the checks to make sure that the things that are actually going to trigger all of the workload, because again, this has got, has got to be a distributed workload that gets generated across the test, uh, are ready and the test will go off and start. Now, if you go and you take a look, they're now starting to log in and generate the load. And uh, you can see all sorts of funky stuff going on. So looking at one of these VMs, you can see that uh, this is what uh, the, the actual uh, virtual machine load looks like. This is the simple and easy Extreme IO UI. Take a look at that IOPS meter throughout this test. It's really quite incredible. Um, so uh, a minute and a half, a minute, almost two minutes has elapsed. And you can see now that basically all sorts of stuff is starting to occur within the virtual machine images. The VDI images here, again, using Citrix um, Zen Desktop. Now, again, this could be done equally with uh, VMware's Horizon Suite, which is awesome. Uh, the point here is a general one that applies across all sorts of VDI workloads. So uh, the workload is now increased. It's now generating around 10,000 IOPS. But again, a few interesting observations. The volume capacity is low. Uh, we're now up to about 12,000, almost 13,000 IOPS. The reason the physical uh, volume capacity for this entire test with 25,000 users is so low is because the EMC Extreme IO uh, XBRIC is deduplicating every single IO as they come in. It's not a dedupe as a post process, which is common in more classic hybrid arrays. But uh, it's actually something that is not even available from the best of the all flash arrays other than Extreme I.O., which is a distributed, scale-up, clustered uh, inline deduplication. Just absolutely incredible. You can see that all the virtual machines are now starting to go mad. Uh, people are reading their emails, they're uh, uh, browsing uh, websites, all sorts of stuff is going on. And the load on the storage subsystem is increasing and increasing increasing. Now, it's also increasing on the host, and at the end of this, we'll show you what this looked like from the host perspective, uh, because as you can imagine, this is uh, creating a fairly large number of uh, loads on the host, but again, through the power of UCS uh, uh, systems from Cisco, we were able to run a very large number of users on the host. Uh, north of 100, in fact, at the peak of these tests, we could generate about 180 users per server. You can see that we're now doing more than 20,000 IOs per second, and again, this is on a single X brick. Um, the load continues to increase. Uh, we're also generating an enormous amount of inbound bandwidth, so uh, megabytes per second, or in fact, gigabytes per second into the X brick. But again, since the deduplication is inline, uh, the effect also applies to the amount of bandwidth that a single X brick is able to drive. So here we can see again more and more stuff is starting to go on inside each one of these uh, uh, images. This is the effect of, in essence, uh, 2,500 users frantically using their uh, virtual machines. Um, and you can imagine the load that that would generate. Um, so um, this continues on for a certain amount of time. 
Um, you can see Login VSI does some interesting stuff. I mean, hey, who doesn't want to play uh, Super Mario 63? Um, we're now generating uh, north of uh, you know 25,000 IOs per second on a periodic basis. Um, so you can see a huge amount of IO kind of continuing. Uh, the Login VSI management console continues to track the overall performance throughout the entire test. Well, let's have a look-see at how things are going at the vSphere cluster level briefly. Um, so we'll quickly open up the uh, um, vSphere client. Uh, log in, there we go, and oh, by the way, just popping over this, you can see again, hovering 25,000 IOs. You can see that the CPU utilization across uh, all of the nodes in the DRS cluster are uh, starting to hover at, uh, you know, 50% or above that, uh, and as we refresh that, it continues to keep climbing. Um, it's still well within bounds, um, and uh, again, the users continue to go bananas, uh, let's take a quick look at uh, what's going on here. They're updating values in Excel um, and updating Excel tables, and um, which obviously generates a CPU load. Um, workload continues to run. It's actually very fascinating to see uh, how login VSI generates load, and it highlights actually how difficult it is to create a very good a VDI workload for our customers. We're now at uh, 36,000 IOPS out of a single X brick. It's not even breaking a sweat. Um, and uh, delivering latencies, IO latencies, which are sub a millisecond, which is just incredible. It gives you the idea of the, the power of all flash arrays for this type um, of, uh, of workload. Login VSI continues to do its thing. Um, and um, it'll be very interesting to see how this uh, uh, reports out at the end, whether uh, it's a pass or a fail. In the end, Login VSI uh, gives a pass or a fail for the workload and the underlying configuration based on a wide variety of factors. Latencies observed by the end users during all of these tasks, which is one of the most important things for a successful uh, VDI uh, pilot. As soon as the users uh, feel uh, high latency response, they start to become extremely unhappy. And uh, we've now done hundreds and hundreds of these um, uh, VDI, both with VMware View and, and the Horizon Suite and with Citrix using uh, Extreme IO Xbrix um, at customers at all sorts of scales. And um, very commonly, even with very, very high-end hybrid arrays, uh, they, could, they could struggle to support the load. Um, so if we take a look, the CPU utilization there very briefly in the DRS pools was very large. We've got about another 20 seconds to go um, in the VSI login test, and the time remaining is now zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the analyzer tool and take a look at what login VSI says about this run that we just finished running right now, uh, which was this particular run. Again, uh, Login VSI is a great tool, one of many, but uh, a great tool uh, for not only generating this sort of load, but taking a look at the impact uh, across all the elements of the stack. The main thing to say is that all of the sessions ran successfully and the maximum was not reached, which means that this is a pass configuration. So you can see uh, uh, all of the results of scattered workload across various activities, minimums, averages, and then uh, the experience during uh, a variety of these individual tasks. Uh, how long did uh, an individual task take? Well, how long does it take to log in? And again, you can see the response times for this are very low. They're in the you know few milliseconds kind of bands. In fact, the, mil the, the uh, response time for very large tasks was well within the bound. This is the CPU utilization, taking a look at one of these uh, uh, hosts, and you can see that um, uh, the CPU did, you know, reach a very high maximum throughout the test. The memory pressure was not too heavy. Um, but again, this test highlights the power of the EMC Extreme IO XBRIC. The XBRIC could have supported more than the 25,000 user load that we were running. You could see that it was 
supporting the number of IOPS without even breaking a sweat. It was able to do that with all of the data services on, with full inline dedupe, with thin, with advanced capabilities for data protection, and uh, it does it uh, very, very simply. The other thing that is truly unique in the all flash array space is that uh, it can do this across a wide variety of protocols, iSCSI, Fiber, and others, um, and be able to do it in a scale out fashion. So we have many customers who, uh, uh, based on their load, have selected, uh, for example, to have four X bricks to support uh, you know, tens of thousands of users uh, using either uh, the VMware Horizon Suite or Citrix. Very cool stuff and a prime use case for the EMC Extreme IO X brick. Awesome technology.